ओके सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक मस्ट नो टॉपिक एंड दैट इज इनफर्टिलिटी नाउ हाउ डू आई डिफाइन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इनफर्टिलिटी एनीबडी हाउ डू आई डिफाइन इनफर्टिलिटी एज ओके यस एनीबडी सिक्स मंथ्स वन ईयर नॉट एबल टू कंसिव आफ्टर हाउ मेनी ईयर्स ऑफ मैरिज सिक्स मंथ्स नाइन मंथ्स वन ईयर वन ईयर not able to conceive after one year of marriage all of you wrong please understand marriage since is not important the marriage is important but in the definition of infertility marriage since please there is a very very important trick mcq they ask you in the entrance exam also in your viva specifically they ask you okay the examiner will try to fool you that they will say that sir infertility is defined as not able to conceive after one year of marriage wrong why marriage since is not important why because sir if the husband is using condoms wife is using birth control pills then that is not infertility or husband is in india wife is in america then again that's not infertility are you understanding this what am i saying yes so sir couple may be married for 2 years 3 years 4 years but they were not planning for a baby they didn't want a baby at that time. Or husband was in one part of the country. Husband was in North India. Wife was in South India. How will they have sex? How will she conceive? Okay. So infertility, yes, twelve months or one year is correct in the criteria. Not able to conceive after one year. Okay. So what is infertility? Not able to conceive after one year. of regular unprotected intercourse so please don't fall into the trap of marriage since because even this was a question few years back and the first option itself was not able to conceive after 12 months of marriage and many students mark that as an answer wrong not able to conceive after One year or twelve months of regular unprotected intercourse. Both words are important. It should be regular. It should be unprotected. That means the husband or the wife should not be using any birth control. Okay, this is called as infertility. Now here we have two things: primary infertility. What is the meaning? And secondary infertility. So primary infertility means what? That the female has never conceived. okay if the wife has never conceived till now that we call it as primary infertility of course after 12 months of regular unprotected intercourse and what is the meaning of secondary infertility so the female has conceived and now they are not able to conceive again but the important point irrespective of the outcome of the first pregnancy what do i mean many students feel that only sir if they have one baby and now they are not able to have second or the third baby that is called as secondary infertility no if she has ever conceived the female conceived that pregnancy landed up in a miscarriage or abortion or that time she didn't want the pregnancy so so they opted for mtp medical termination of pregnancy that is fine and now they are not able to conceive that will be called as secondary infertility is it clear so whatever may be the outcome if the lady has conceived once that pregnancy could have ended up in a live birth that pregnancy could have been a dead baby that could have been iufd that pregnancy could have been an abortion miscarriage mtp whatever it is if the female has conceived once and now she is not able to conceive again that is called as secondary infertility so these are the basic things now very very important only for my love for the subject and once this has been asked and if you are doing very well in your final mbbs This is your gold medal, all final year student. This is your gold medal and distinction. That sir, why in the definition of infertility there is one year? Why not six months? Why not nine months? Why not two years? Why one year or why twelve months? So please understand this: the egg in the female survives for twenty four hours, and the sperms of the male partner can survive inside her for two three days. That means around forty eight seventy two hours. so what am i saying is that mainly in the whole month mainly in the whole month this is suppose the cycle will of course tell you the days of ovulation also suppose it's a 28 day cycle and suppose year is the ovulation 
so on the 14th day so here this is considered two three days before and one day after this is the fertile period so chance of pregnancy is maximum when they have intercourse on the fertile period just before ovulation or on the day of ovulation or just after ovulation that is the fertile period now my question to all of you is please pay attention the husband i am writing h husband is absolutely normal normal means sperm count normal we'll discuss all this in the uh, next lecture when we discuss male infertility that's her husband sperm count motility morphology all normal so husband is absolutely normal and the wife is also absolutely normal that means husband wife both are normal wife normal means uterus fallopian tube ovary everything normal husband normal and they have intercourse at the time of ovulation understand the scenario husband normal wife normal and intercourse at the time of ovulation that means the egg and the sperm just dying to meet each other what is the chance of pregnancy in that one particular month yes if i ask you this okay understand the question husband normal wife normal and intercourse happens at the time of ovulation what is the chance of pregnancy in one month yes anybody 1 to 100 you have got 100 options in front of you whatever number comes in your mind you can say okay 40 percent 50 percent 70 percent 90 percent 100 percent 69 percent nice number okay so please understand this that even if the husband is normal and the wife is normal and they have intercourse at the time of ovulation egg and the sperm just dying to meet each other in one month the chance of pregnancy is only 10 to 15 percent only i jokingly tell all my students and all my patients also it only happens in ekta kapoor serial or hindi picture or in films that hero heroine meet and heroine pregnant in the first shot itself okay why because this is nature so only in films it can happen that with one act of sex the heroine is pregnant but that may not happen in the real life because in one particular month only 10 to 15 percent female can achieve a pregnancy or couple can achieve a pregnancy why because this is nature if instead of if every month lots and lots of female starts conceiving then instead of 7 billion will be 70 billion people on planet earth anyway there's a population explosion there'll be a huge explosion in one particular month all these numbers they are not going to ask you only for my love for the subject i'm teaching you this point and one important mcq which is likely to be asked in the exam that in one particular month sir 10 to 15 percent can achieve a pregnancy but this is cumulative by the end of six months roughly 50 percent couple and by the end of one year or 12 months 90 percent couple will be able to achieve a pregnancy and that is the reason why in infertility we consider 12 months or one year because sir even if everything is normal even if husband and wife are normal in one month only 10 15 percent can achieve a pregnancy but it keeps on increasing like one month 10 15 next month another 10 percent third month another 10 as such by doing this 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 roughly in six months 50 percent couple and by the end of 12 months 12 months of yes regular unprotected intercourse is understood so by the end of one year or 12 months of regular unprotected intercourse 90 percent couple will be able to achieve a pregnancy 10 percent will still remain infertile 12 10 percent will still remain infertile and those are the ones whom i label as infertility and then i start investigating the male and the female together so by the end so till one year that couple is not your patient what am i saying is even if everything is normal the couple may take three months to six months to nine months to one year to achieve a pregnancy yes pregnancy can happen in the first month also it can happen in the 12th month also is this understood to all of you so by the end of 12 months of regular unprotected intercourse 90 percent couple will be able to achieve a pregnancy i'm writing 90 will become pregnant 90 will get pregnancy and 10 percent will still remain infertile and those are the ones whom i then have to start doing the investigations okay, why is they are not able to conceive 
so this is very very important and that is why i'm so happy i teach this every year and this was the question in exams few years back this was the question so both this 90 percent and 10 percent numbers could be asked to you in your final year viva and if you answer this in a final year viva distinction okay that why doctor infertility there is 12 months or one year considered sir because sir in one month only 10 15 percent can achieve a pregnancy and by the end of one year yes by the end of one year 90 percent couple will be pregnant 90 percent couple or the female will be pregnant and 10 percent will still remain infertile and those are the ones that is why you need to give them time this 90 percent both could be asked to you that at the how question can come by the end of one year of regular unprotected intercourse number of couples which will be pregnant is 20 percent 70 percent 100 percent 90 percent mark 90 percent or by the end of one year of regular unprotected intercourse how many couples will remain infertile 10 20 30 40 50 0 mark 10 percent as the answer is this understood to all of you so please pay attention a virgin mcq for all of you now what is this virgin mcq virgin mcq is my terminology my speciality it simply means brand new mcqs mcqs never asked till now in the entrance exam but will surely come in the future is coined by me as virgin mcq so throughout my lecture if i keep on using this word virgin mcq virgin mcq please don't get confused are what sir is talking about this virgin virgin so suppose i give you a virgin mcq that the husband comes to you to the opd okay husband comes to the opd and says doctor i am married for four months i know what is the fertile period of my wife and we are having sex on that particular day and my wife is not becoming pregnant please investigate what will you say don't investigate don't do anything why because if you start investigating early the stress goes up and which stress the further success goes down because if in four months she has not conceived that does not mean there is a problem what you have to tell him okay just go back home relax enjoy if after another eight more months also your wife is not becoming pregnant then you come back to me because then it will be 12 months and then i will start investigating you and your wife is this clear to all of you so if a couple has come to you after three or four or five months of marriage please don't start investigating why because if you start investigating early the stress goes up and with stress the further success goes down okay so just tell them to relax chill enjoy don't take stress do yoga meditation yoga se hoga okay yoga se hoga and even after one year the female is not able to conceive then you start her investigations